Hi, my name is Jonathan Harrison. I'm a project manager here at Nickel. Um, today we're going to be going over how to terminate Cat5 cable into an RJ45 end. Showing you the RJ45 ends because these are a uh, popular thing nowadays when it comes to the low voltage lighting controls that we're installing on a day-to-day -day basis and uh, I think it's going to help when it comes down to installing these in the field. A few things you're going to need. One is your cable stripper. Second is a pair of cable cutters, or you can use scissors. And finally, the RJ45 crimp tool. First step is going to be stripping the cable. You're gonna strip the cable back about an inch from the end just by sliding the wire into the cable into the cable cutter, spinning once, and then pulling it off. Cat5 cable consists of eight wires which are twisted into four separate pairs. Now while we're doing this today we're going to be following the T568B style which is the most common in the industry. The main thing that you want to make sure is those when you terminate both ends of the cable that it's terminated the same way on both ends. So we're going to start by untwisting the wires. Most of the, most of the wires in this cable will stay together in their pairs except for green which will kind of surround the center wires which are blue. So we're going to start with, from left to right, orange, white, then orange, then green, white, then blue and blue, white, then green. You want to try to keep the wire straight as you're doing this because it's going to make it easier for when you slide it into the termination. And then it's going to be brown, white, and brown. Do your best to flatten out the wires, keep them straight. And you're going to want to compare it to your RJ45 connector. You want to make sure that when you crimp this down, that the insulation is going to get caught in the first section of it, which will crimp down and actually hold the connector to the insulation. And you want to make sure that you cut to the length so that there's enough wire to go underneath the gold pins there that you're going to be crimping onto the wire. Okay, after the wires are trimmed length, with the center pin on the connector facing down, you're going to slide the cable into the connector. This is where the termination tool comes in into play. You want to make sure that you're sliding in the correct way. You can actually, when you slightly close it, you can see that there's the part that crimps down onto the gold piece. So we're going to slide it in. We're going to crimp until you're fully compressed. Let go and slide it up, and you have a complete RJ45 end.